We need you, Holy Spirit. We need you. Your children need your prayer. Holy Spirit, will you stay? Holy Spirit, will you Your children need your presence now. Holy Spirit, will you stay? Your children need your presence now. Holy Spirit, will you stay? Holy Spirit, we need you. Holy Spirit, we need you. Your children need your presence now. Holy Spirit, will you stay? Your children need your presence now, Holy Spirit, will you stay? Holy Spirit, we need you. We worship. Holy Spirit, we need you. Your children need your presence now, will you stay? Spirit, I need you. Holy Spirit, I need you. I'm your child. I need your presence now, Holy Spirit, will you stay? I'm your child, I need your presence now, Holy Spirit, will you Father, we worship you today. We glorify your name. We magnify your name. We honor you. We bless your name. We lift up your name. To be praised, you are worthy to be exalted. You are worthy to be magnified. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Untag Rose, I can think. I see she's a bit lost. Taga, tell her we are this side. We are here. Uh, the first video so we are we are again back to square one welcoming the holy spirit loving the holy ghost we love you lord we give you praise we magnify your name we adore your name we lift up your name we praise your name somebody begin to welcome the holy spirit begin to welcome the holy spirit holy spirit of acts thou art welcome Thou art welcome in this place. We thank you for this day 90. We thank you for it. Thank you for the day 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and today day 90. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for your grace, for your presence, for your power, for your favor. For Begin to thank God. It is a day of thanksgiving. Begin to thank God for everything that he has done. Thanksgiving unlocks miracles. Begin to thank God. Thank God for your life. Thank God for your health. Tag your brother. Tag your sister. Start a watch party. And welcome everybody. It's a night. My God. Like no other. The Holy Ghost is coming down. Feeling everybody moving. My God in our midst. We worship you Lord. We take over. In the name of Jesus. Take over. Take over. Take over. Take over. God bless you, and tonight is your night of a miracle. Believe God, and believe God. There is nothing difficult before God, 
I'm telling you on this night, the Holy Spirit is going to touch you in a special way. Believe God. Look to Jesus in the name of Jesus. Begin to tag your brother and your sister. Begin to welcome everybody. My God is a night like no other. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is a night like no other. I can't believe we are already 90 days. My God Almighty, 90 days, the 90th of the 90 days of hosting the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, it has been incredible. Begin to thank God. Tonight, we just came to thank God in Jesus Christ is a night of thanksgiving child of god there's something about thanksgiving thanksgiving unlocks wholeness thanksgiving unlocks testimonies thanksgiving unlocks miracles we want to thank the holy spirit for everything that he has done for the testimonies we have received in this broadcast for the healings that have taken place for the encouragements that have taken place for the miracles that have taken place for the families that have been touched delivered and set free in the mighty name of jesus somebody begin to worship god somebody begin to lift up the name of god a lady testified the other day and she said that uh, the husband had literally chester the husband had chester from from the from a bigger house and and and, and, to, and took her to a smaller house hallelujah glory i'm telling you and she called the other day, say, man of God, the, my husband who had chased me from the other, uh, from, from, a, from, a, from a bigger house has asked me to go back to the bigger house in Jesus' mighty name, fully paid in the name that's above all other names. The Holy Spirit is good. The Holy Spirit is awesome. Thank him for the gift of life. You have survived even during this time of COVID. You are alive, my God. You are alive and well. Hallelujah, glory. You know, thank God that is above all other names the bible said let the redeemed of the lord say so let the redeemed of the lord say so of the Lord say so. Joraba sota raba kosoto robro setere brorosha. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Any redeemed of the Lord around begin to say so. Thank Him for everything He has done. Thank Him for the gift of life. Thank Him for everything. Thank Him for everything. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thanksgiving unlocks wholeness. Do you know how your miracle is going to come through Thanksgiving in the name of Jesus? Begin to thank God as you tag your brothers and your sisters. Begin to thank God. We came a bit earlier, but again, we were disrupted, and so we had to start over again. But all the same, we are here. We just rebuke the spirit of darkness in the name that's above all other names. We just rebuke the spirit of the enemy in the name that's above all other names. We render powerless every works of the enemy in the name that's above other names set and be hindered in your tracks holy spirit take over this broadcast holy spirit take over this broadcast holy spirit take over this broadcast in the mighty name of jesus holy spirit come and reign holy spirit come and have your way holy spirit come and move holy spirit we need you somebody open your mouth and say holy ghost we need you we need you we need you we need you here. We need you, Holy Spirit. Come and take over. Come and take over. In the name of Jesus, come and take over, Holy Ghost. We need you right here. And that's above all other names. Begin to welcome the Holy Spirit. Tell you in the name of Jesus it is a night like no other miracles are gonna happen I'm telling you God has saved the best for the last God has saved the best for the last keep on tagging your sisters and your brother start a watch party share the broadcaster tell them we are on our 90th day of the 90 days of hosting the Holy Spirit and I'm expecting for great things to happen in your life I'm we are just thankful. We are thankful to God. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for the days that we have been hosting you in the name that's above all other names. Child of God, we are on our 90th day days of hosting the holy spirit i thank him for day one what he did day two three four ten what he did day 11 12 13 20 what he did 13 15 16 13 40 50 60 70 
days of glory, what he did in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank the Holy Spirit. Begin to thank the Holy Ghost for what he has done in these 90 days. Hallelujah. He has preserved you. He has protected you. My God Almighty, some of you have gotten to, 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 to you have fallen in love with the Holy Ghost more. Change that. In the name of Jesus, uh, you need to thank God, my sister. Thank God for these 90 days uh, is our day of thanksgiving. In the name that's above all other names uh, is our day of thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus, uh, begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank God for the 90 days of hosting him. My God Almighty, we started off in day one. And look what has happened. We are already in day 90. Hallelujah. Of constantly, my God Almighty mighty loving God, praising God, hallelujah, glory. We bless the Lord. We worship you. God bless you, Anna, for finding rose in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, glory. Hallelujah, glory. People, welcome the Holy Spirit. People, welcome the Holy Ghost. Share the broadcast to 20 groups and welcome the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for everything that that you have done. Um, begin to start a watch party. Welcome your brother and your sister. This is the last day of hosting the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, child of God, be aggressive um, in the name that's above all other names. Um, be aggressive, be aggressive, be aggressive. Uh, don't touch that dial. Don't touch that dial. Uh, it is a night like no other in the name of Jesus. Uh, begin to thank God in Jesus' name. Uh, I also want to know what God has done in your life. Um, if you have been blessed so far in these 90 days, uh, type and say thank you, Holy Spirit, um, for what you have done in the name of Jesus. Uh, some of you, your prayer life has gone to another level. Some of you have been able to seek the face of God. Some of you are now sensitive um, to the Holy Spirit more than ever. Some of you have now begun to relate with the Holy Ghost um, in the name that's above all other names. Uh, we bless you, Lord. We worship you. Um, some of you have seen flickers of, of God's goodness. Hallelujah. Glory. Some of you have seen the real God's goodness. Um, some of you have seen a flicker of God's goodness, a sign of God's goodness. Hallelujah. Glory. Begin to thank God. Share the broadcast to 20 groups. Um, is our night of thanksgiving, the 90th, the 90th of the 90 days um, of hosting the Holy Spirit. What an incredible God. We serve uh, what an incredible journey we have had, um, an incredible journey of loving God, um, an incredible journey, child of God. Of, of, of repenting, hallelujah, an incredible journey of seeking the face of God um, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, we have heard, hallelujah, of praying, of praying, of praying. Um, somebody begin to thank God. Welcome, Rose, hallelujah, glory. In the name that's above all other names. Uh, God bless all of you that are joining. God bless you, Ngiba. God bless you, Esther, Majola. God bless you, Anne. God bless you, Judy. God bless you, Elizabeth. All of you joining. God bless you, Donna. In the name of Jesus. God bless you, Yvonne. Child of God, tonight is a night like no other. Don't touch that dial, child of God. Begin to welcome the Holy Ghost. Uh, thank him for the 90 days. Um, hallelujah, glory. I don't know what the Holy Ghost has done to your life. Um, some of you, your prayer life has come alive. Um, some of you, you have, you have gotten to know about the Holy Spirit. Um, you didn't know about the Holy Spirit. Um, you used to ignore him. You used to neglect him. But now you are much more aware where you are you, you, you have your lover back by the name of the holy ghost and some of your stress levels have reduced begin to thank god begin to thank god some of you are worried about life but ever since you began to love on the holy spirit you just flow you just flow in the name of jesus there is nothing that the enemy has does to you that shakes you because you know that the holy ghost has your back open your mouth and begin to thank the Holy Spirit. I want to get your views. Let me know your views. Hallelujah. How has the journey been with you? In Jesus' name, how has the journey been with you from day one of hosting the Holy Spirit? I want to know. Talk back to me. Talk back to me. 
talk back to me how has the journey been with you since day one of hosting the holy spirit in the name of jesus let me know how it has been with you of course i've received testimonies my god the holy spirit it doesn't lie he told us we're gonna have strange records of testimonies in the name of jesus and in this broadcast child of god we have had incredible testimonies hallelujah healed of paralysis in the name of jesus we have had my god almighty people that were lost hallelujah glory a lady lost her close to three years a, a teenager a teenage grandchild close to t close hallelujah glory in guyana and they didn't know what was gonna happen whether he was dead or alive but child of god through prayers that boy came back home hallelujah hallelujah looking healthier and strong the holy spirit the three years if i'm not wrong the holy spirit upheld that boy hallelujah glory i'm telling you god is a miracle working god god is a miracle God in the name of Jesus hallelujah glory there's also another boy that was lost hallelujah for about three months hallelujah glory was also recovered back hallelujah the Holy Spirit has been doing great and mighty things hallelujah glory we had incredible testimonies child of God keep on sharing the broadcast in the name of Jesus tag your sister tag your brother is the 90th day my God Almighty it is the 90th day of the 90th days of hosting the Holy Spirit. He has been incredible, hasn't he? I said the Holy Ghost has been incredible in the name of Jesus. Let me know from you how, how the journey has been in the name that's above all other names. Type and let me know, man of God, how the journey has been in Jesus' name. My God, I can't believe that we are already 90 days of hosting the holy spirit and shortly i'm gonna tell you what has been happening to your life and what is about to happen to your life from this day going forward some of you have become very beautiful hallelujah glory i'm telling you my god almighty some of you have become very beautiful ever since you began hosting the holy spirit when you look at yourself in the mirror you can see changes the holy ghost has has just beautified you in jesus mighty name hallelujah glory some of you have recovered what you lost in the name that is above all other names i'm telling you god has been good people have been re have received lands hallelujah glory in this 90 days of hosting the holy ghost people have received lands hallelujah glory i'm telling you the holy spirit does not lie he told us we're gonna have strange records of testimonies hallelujah people have encountered angelic visitation hallelujah a lady called me the other day and said man of god she had a dream that that a, 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 a pretty lady was standing beside her daughter while her daughter was washing in the kitchen hallelujah and then the following day she went and inquired for my daughter she told her daughter you know what i had a dream that while you are washing in the kitchen there was a pretty lady standing beside you just keeping an eye on you watching over you and the and the daughter confirmed you say you know you told 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 the mother my god almighty it happened for real that i was washing and i saw it twice i saw somebody i saw a lady a exact description that the mother gave child of god i'm telling you the holy spirit has been working in our midst like never before in the name of jesus christ people are writing the saying is elizabeth saying my journey with the holy ghost has been awesome i have recorded testimonies hallelujah glory i'm telling you god is good hallelujah let me know from you type and let me know your views how has the journey been in the name of jesus with your life with your family family in jesus name the other day a lady called me hallelujah she called me this lady just joined recently she called me and said man of god the office where i was where she was chased like a dog in their 2018 the office where she was chased like a dog they called her i think yesterday and they called her back to that office hallelujah glory the holy ghost has been restoring lives the holy ghost has been restoring lives hallelujah people in this broadcast have been settled hallelujah 
glory. I have a lady here, my God Almighty, with a testimony. Hallelujah. The mom passed away and she didn't know what to do. Hallelujah. The brothers were chasing her from the house. Hallelujah. That, that from, the, from their mother's house. And no, she didn't know where to go. Hallelujah. Glory. And child of God, through this broadcast, through hosting the Holy Spirit, that lady is settled now back by God to go with, the, with the husband. Hallelujah. Glory. In her own house. What a mighty God we serve. We need to thank God. It is a day of thanking God. Hallelujah. And of course, I'm going to be just sharing with you shortly, but I want to take a few minutes and thank the Holy Spirit. You can type and let me know how your views, how, how your journey has been with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Let me know from everybody how your journey has been in the name of Jesus. What have you experienced? What have you learned in the name that's above all other names? Remember the book of Revelation says they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ of Nazareth. I know for some, for, 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 for purpose, hallelujah, glory of confidentiality. You may not share your testimony live here, but you can just type and let me know how the experience has been. Are you, are you still stressed? Are you still worried? Are you still depressed? Are you still anxious? How, what has been happening to your life after you have begun welcoming the Holy Spirit? I'm telling you, God is a good God. We have incredible testimonies that I'm able to read for you in Jesus' name. Name. Hallelujah. I'm going to maybe package them and then just be sending them there in Jesus' name. There's a lady who testified that their husband chased her from the house where she, she, she used to be a, a, a big house and she went to she was, she was went to a smaller house. Hallelujah. Glory. And then in during the time of hosting the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost touched the husband. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, uh, the husband walks, walks, walks far away. Hallelujah. But the, the, the husband walks far away and to, to, to come out from a, small, from a bigger house and go to a smaller house. Yet the husband is able to pay. Hallelujah. Glory. But through hosting the Holy Spirit, uh, through loving the Holy Ghost, uh, the same husband called her back and told her, guess what? You go back to the other bigger house. Uh, and it was paid in full. And now she's back in that bigger house. I'm telling you, God is working in this place in Jesus might name somebody is saying thank you Holy Spirit for fighting my battles thank you Holy Spirit for being my helper I'm, I'm getting views here let me get somebody else's views in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth as I'm going on you'll be writing your journey what you have experienced in Jesus mighty name we have little time and we have a lot of things to do today press the share button my God is our final day my God almighty of hosting the Holy Ghost I'm telling you God is the good God don't touch that dial in the name that's above all other names and towards the end we're gonna hear from the Holy Spirit what he expects of us now going forward because the Holy Ghost has a plan. Hallelujah. He has a plan with your life in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory. My God, yesterday's service was powerful. My God Almighty, yesterday's powerful service was awesome, was wonderful. In the name of Jesus Christ, we had a great time. We pulled down strongholds. We destroyed, my God, altars of the enemy. Hallelujah. Yokes were broken. My God, yesterday the service was off the hook if you are not able to to to, to be to be part of yesterday's service ensure you go back and you watch the day of atonement and just sit and listen in jesus mighty name hallelujah child of god i want to pray with somebody here in the name that's above all other names i want to let you know number one what has been happening to you in these 90 days if you have a paper you can type on or you can just type them just type them uh, just type on and then later on you can or, or later on you'll be able to go through and listen hallelujah but i want to let you know something that's been happening to you in this 90 days number one you have been praying hallelujah and the holy ghost gave me a powerful revelation about prayer hallelujah number one prayer 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 has a letter p prayer has a letter p and number p the letter p stands for presenting yourself before god hallelujah prayer has a letter p and and letter P stands for presenting 
yourself before God. Hallelujah. So this 90 days, child of God, every 10 p.m. East African time, we have been presenting ourselves before God. Hallelujah. Glory. You have been presenting yourself before God. And I'm telling you something, child of God, something happens when you come in the presence of God. In the book of Genesis, time will not allow me to go there. The Bible talks about a man called Cain. Cain had just killed his brother Abel. Hallelujah. And the Bible said the brother's blood was crying from the ground. My God, seeking for vengeance. But in the same book of Genesis, the Bible said when Cain left the presence of God, something happened to him. The first thing that we see happened to him. Number one, he got a wife. Hallelujah. How can a man who was condemned to die, how can a man who was supposed to be to be to be killed because of having killed his brother? How can that type of man leave the presence of God and even get married? Hallelujah, glory. And the Bible doesn't stop there. The Bible also says that he built a city. He built a city. My God Almighty, a man that was condemned to be a vagabond, a man that had a death threat on him. When he left the present of presence of God, he went and got married. And not only that, he got a child. Hallelujah, glory. And not only that, he built a city. My God, all his transformation came after he came from the presence of God. So I want to tell you something, child of God. You have been in the presence of God for 90 days. Get ready to own a mall. My God Almighty. Get ready to own a mall. Get ready to own your own permanent residence. Get ready to be married. Get ready to travel the nations. Some of you don't know what you have been doing in the realm of the spirit. I'm telling you in the realm of the spirit, you have been constructing a monumental blessing that now is about to land on you, my God Almighty, and it manifests itself in, the, in your life in the name of Jesus. So the letter P stands for presenting yourself before God. We are on prayer, meaning of prayer. Letter P stands for presenting yourself before God. And letter R, letter R, oh my God, somebody needs to share the broadcast. As I'm preaching, you just share the broadcast. Start a watch party. Don't stop sharing. Like the video. Love the video in Jesus' name. Letter R stands for repentance. Repentance. My God, in these 90 days, you have been repenting. Hallelujah, glory. Remember that the devil is the chief accuser. He's always looking forward. He's always accusing us before God. He's saying that, oh, you cannot bless that man because of so and so and so. You cannot bless that lady because of this and this and the other. But in these 90 days of, of hosting the Holy Spirit, we have been repenting of our sins. My God, I've repented. You have repented. We have been repenting. Hallelujah glory. In other words, the enemy has got no more evidence. My God! I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Somebody better share that broadcast. I say that the enemy has got no more evidence to hinder your marriage. The enemy has got no more evidence to stop your progress. The enemy has got no more evidence to hinder your prosperity because you have been repenting. And yesterday we also repented before we partook of the blood of Jesus. So the enemy has got no more evidence to afflict you. Type there and say the devil has got no more evidence. God bless those who are sharing the broadcast. God bless those who are starting a watch party. I can see you. God bless those who are just tagging their friends and their brothers and sisters in the name of Jesus. So number P is presenting yourself before God. Number R is repentance. And, and I mean, the next one is R. Then the next one is R, 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 which means accepting responsibility. Hallelujah. R means, stands for accepting responsibilities. Yesterday, we accepted responsibilities. We accepted, child of God, that there are some altars that were raised in our bloodline with our ancestors and our grandfathers and our fathers and even ourselves and we were just accepting the responsibility and we were demolishing those altars in the name of of Jesus, uh, we were accepting, uh, we were accepting that we come from witchcraft uh, infested background. Uh, in these 90 days, uh, we've been accepting, child of God, uh, responsibilities. Uh, we have been accepting uh, that we have done evil. We have been accepting uh, that we have been stealing from God. Um, we have been accepting uh, that we were jealous of other people. We have been accepting uh, that we were bitter with those people, hallelujah, who have done bad to us, hallelujah. We have accepted, we have been accepting 
being child of God, uh, of the things you have been doing, uh, we have been accepting responsibilities in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. People are sending their views here. Let me have your view. Sister Donna is saying good. Go, good. Good. God is good. Hallelujah. In my dream, I looked and, and I saw, and, and uh, in my dream, what he showed me, then my daughter saw the same thing and in, in a dream. Hallelujah. I was saying, I was telling about her. She's the one that, that had a dream about the daughter. Hallelujah. Glory. Uh, st somebody standing beside her daughter while the daughter was, was washing in the kitchen. Hallelujah. A pretty lady. And when she went to inquire from her daughter, the daughter said, you know what? It happened for real. Yesterday while I was washing, I saw a lady, a pretty lady, twice. Hallelujah. Standing beside me and watching over me. Hallelujah. I told that the angels are now flying low. The angels of God are flying low in Jesus' name. And they'll be flying low throughout this, throughout from now on in Jesus' name. Get ready to bump on your own angel with your package in Jesus' name. So number A is accepting responsibility in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. And then why? Why means yielding our position. Hallelujah. Yielding our position. Hallelujah. In these days of 90 days of hosting the Holy Ghost, for the last 90 days of hosting the Holy Spirit, we have been yielding. Hallelujah. Somebody here has typed and say, I saw Jesus. My God Almighty. People are writing. Let me know your views. Let me know your journey of the 90 days of hosting the Holy Ghost. Let me know what the Holy Spirit has done to your life. People are writing, I saw Jesus. Hallelujah. And it's been so scary for me since yesterday. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. People are writing in the name of Jesus. Let me know your views. What has been happening to your life? My God, people are seeing, people are seeing, people are, uh, people's eyes are opening. Uh, keep on sharing their broadcast. Uh. So why means uh, yielding your own position? Hallelujah. In this 90 days, child of God, uh, every time we have been coming in the presence of God, uh, for some of you abroad, uh, it could be 3 p.m. in the afternoon, uh, or it could be morning. Hallelujah. Glory. Or it could be evening. Hallelujah. About the same, uh, we have been coming together to host the Holy Spirit. Uh, and what we have been doing, uh, we have been yielding our position. Hallelujah. Glory. We have been yielding uh, our position in the name that is above all other names. Uh, we have been yielding our position to God. Uh, whether you are religious, uh, we have been yielding our position to God. Uh, whether you are rich, we have been yielding our position to God. Uh, whether you are, you are beautiful or handsome, uh, we have been yielding our position to God. Uh, whether you are educated, uh, we have been yielding Yielding our position to God, whether you stay in a palace or you stay in a hut, we have been yielding together our positions to God. It has been the days of yielding our not surrendering, but yielding our position to God, so that the Lord can take place. Hallelujah! We have been giving up our different statuses, giving them up at the feet of Jesus, and that's where power begins from. Hallelujah! We have come in this humble broadcast hallelujah glory not nothing fanciful but the holy spirit and you've been yielding ourselves in the presence of the holy ghost hallelujah and there's your miracles begin to happen in the name of jesus i want to tell you something before i go to a short word what about number 90 what has been happening in this 90 days hallelujah glory in the name of jesus christ of nazareth number 90 child of god number 90 means it means the imminent endings uh, and terminations uh, of some events uh, or sequence of events uh, in your life. Hallelujah. Number 90 means uh, the imminent endings uh, and terminations uh, of some events uh, or sequence of events in your life. Uh, I want to break it down and tell you, child of God, um, after these 90 days, uh, my God Almighty, there are some things in your life you look uh, and you will not be able to see them again. Uh, it means they will have ended. Hallelujah. Glory. There are some things that uh, your lifestyle, struggles, suffering, uh, co problems, uh, confusion. Hallelujah. Glory. In the name that's above all other names. Uh, 
in the name that's above all other names. Uh, there are some things, child of God, uh, that you have been happening in your life. I'm telling you, you are going to see a total transformation uh, because number 90 means, hallelujah, the imminent endings uh, and terminations uh, of some events uh, or sequence of events. Uh, it means, child of God, Hallelujah. Where they used to visit a witch doctor, that one now comes to an end in Jesus' mighty name. Whether you are into witchcraft, hallelujah. My God or my Alexander has written here that accepting what, what was wrong, what I did, hallelujah, and never putting my hand in witchcraft again, hallelujah, glory. I'm telling you, child of God, an imminent ending of something, hallelujah, that's been happening for a long time. It means if you are, if you, you know, if you are not reading the Bible, that one now comes to an end on this 90th day. If you're struggling with addiction, that one comes to an end on this day in Jesus' name. If you're sick in your body today, that sickness has to come to an end in the name that's above all other names. Just believe God. I don't have to pray for you while I'm preaching. You just key in your faith. You just activate your faith. You see, religion waits for prayer, but the people who are filled by the Holy Ghost, they hijack their ministry miracle hallelujah glory they hijack what belongs to them they hijack their marriage they hijack their finances a woman with an issue of blood did not wait for jesus to walk to her i'm telling you she went to jesus she she she, she just crawled herself to jesus in the name that's above all other names so child of god number 90 means the imminent endings and terminations of some events or sequence of events in your life, uh, leading, leading uh, to constructive um, and favorable new openings uh, and transformations. I want to declare to somebody after these 90 days, uh, there is an imminent ending uh, and terminations of some events uh, that are not godly in your life. Hallelujah, glory, which is going to lead to constructive um, and favorable new openings. Uh, get ready for new openings. Uh, some of you are about to open new businesses. Uh, some of you are about to open new premises. Uh, some of you are traveling. Uh, doors are opening. Relationships are coming alive. Breakthroughs are coming alive. In the name of Jesus, money is being loosed. It's changing hands into your hands. Who am I preaching to in this place? In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So leading to constructive and favorable new openings and transformations which bring long-lasting advantages in life. I'm so excited, child of God. For those of you who have been hosting the Holy Ghost for the last 90 days. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, number one, what has been happening to you uh, is your ground was being leveled. Uh, your ground was being leveled. Uh, the Holy Ghost was literally picking out uh, some unwanted things in your life. Uh, some curses were being broken. Uh, some yokes were being removed. Uh, some things were being removed. Uh, glory, leveling the ground uh, so that there can be long-lasting uh, advantages in your life. Uh, after today, get ready for long-lasting uh, advantages. Somebody keep on sharing the broadcast uh, in the name that's above all other names. Uh, so these drastic changes in your life uh, will turn out to be very beneficial. Hallelujah to you. Uh, what the Holy Ghost is beginning to do in your life, child of God, uh, will turn out to be very beneficial uh, to your life. I don't know how many minutes I have. My God, time is against me. I need to go very quickly in Jesus' mighty name. So this is a very important season. Hallelujah. And yesterday I was about 90 days in the name of Jesus. Uh, and I posed a question, hallelujah, and I was telling you uh, that did you know uh, that the Virgin, the Virgin Mary, the Virgin Mary remained 90 days uh, with Elizabeth, hallelujah, for the birth of John the Baptist. Uh, we find that in the book of Luke. My God, if time can allow me, let me just touch on there very quickly, then we pray. Luke chapter 1, Luke chapter 1, uh, from verses number 42. Tambo, somebody type, uh, type Luke chapter 1, uh, from verses number Number 42, uh, did you know that the Virgin Mary remained 90 days uh, with Elizabeth uh, for the birth of John the Baptist? Why did that happen, child of God? Uh, it is very important that you understand uh, why that happened in the name of Jesus. Uh, in Luke chapter 1, verse 42, uh, the Bible said, Hallelujah, glory. Uh, and she spoke out with a loud voice uh, and said, Blessed art thou. Let me start from verse 41. Uh, and it came to pass that when Elizabeth uh, uh, verse 
Let me start verse 39. And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with the haste into a city of Judah and entered into the house of Zacharias saluted Elizabeth, hallelujah, glory, I began from Luke chapter 1, from verses number 39, and Mary arose in those days and went into the the haste into a city of Judah and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth hallelujah verse 41 and it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost hallelujah and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost and she spoke out with a loud voice and said blessed are thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb hallelujah glory child of God why did Mary why did Mary and, and when Mary when after Mary visited Elizabeth she remained there child of God she remained there for 90 days hallelujah she remained there for 90 days hallelujah glory hallelujah glory she remained there for 90 days why did she remain there for 90 days in the name of Jesus why did she remain there for 90 days why did she remain there for 90 days yeah I want to tell you something child of God that after prophet Malachi stepped off the earthly stage hallelujah it was around 400 years hallelujah glory before Christ Child of God, after Prophet Malachi stepped out, hallelujah, glory, out of the scene, hallelujah, it took 450 years before Christ, no genuine prophetic voice was heard again until after 500 years, hallelujah, no genuine prophetic voice was heard again until after 500 years, hallelujah, and without a genuine prophetic voice, without, without a voice of God, you can imagine how people lived hallelujah people lived religiously people could just do what they want to do hallelujah commit all kinds of sin my god on my perversion my god all kind of 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 despicable stuff hallelujah glory and child of god when the May, when elizabeth became pregnant of john the baptist who was supposed to be preparing the way my god preparing the way for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, John the Baptist was embarking on a tough mission. Hallelujah. There has never been a prophetic voice for the last 500 years and you have just been born and you are supposed to be to prepare the way for the Messiah. You needed the Holy Spirit. You needed to be filled by the Holy Spirit. No wonder Mary who was carrying the Savior. Hallelujah. After the angel had told Mary when Mary asked the angel that how shall it be seeing I know not a man and the angel told Mary in the book of Luke they shall come to pass when thou shalt be filled by the Holy Ghost and the power of the, of the, of the most high God shall overshadow you and then you shall be able to give birth. Mary now knew about the Holy Ghost. Mary knew that the victory is in the Holy Ghost and Mary had hosted the Holy Spirit Mary had called upon the Holy Spirit until the in every table took place but now there was a concern she's carrying the savior and that John the Baptist is supposed to prepare the way for her son, Jesus Christ, the savior hallelujah, she had to go in haste, the Bible says went in haste to where Elizabeth was, hallelujah, and she stayed there for 90 days, why? because number one, when Mary arrived the baby that was Elizabeth leaped for joy, hallelujah. In other words, that baby was baptized by the Holy Ghost. But now it was not over there. Mary had to abide there for 90 days for the mother Elizabeth to keep on spirit. Remember, Jesus is the baptizer by the Holy Ghost. Elizabeth was by that time six months pregnant. She had to keep on hosting the Holy Spirit so that the baby in her womb can come out filled 
that when that baby moves out of the womb and now is grown up and begins to embark on preaching the gospel after lack of the word of God for 500 years, no demon could stand John the Baptist. No power could resist John the Baptist. What am I talking about? For those of you who have been hosting the Holy Ghost for 90 days, my God Almighty, there is a power and anointing that has come upon your life. You are about, child of God, to defeat some things that had overwhelmed you before. You are about to come. You are about to overpower the things that were overpowering you. You are about to terminate, my God, satanic insult in your bloodline in the name that is above all other names. I'm telling you child of God, you have not been hosting the Holy Ghost in vain. And I'm telling you, you have not been seeking the face of God in vain. In the name that is above all other names. And I want to thank all of you who have been coming on every 10 p.m. East African time. I want to thank all of you who have been consistent in the name of Jesus. Uh, those who have put up, my God of Miriam, you've put up your work aside uh, to just come and host the Holy Spirit. Uh, I want to thank God for you. Those who have been praying. Uh, those who have been fasting. Hallelujah. And most so, I want to thank God uh, for all of you have been partnering with the work of the Holy Spirit. Uh, you have been giving your tithe. Uh, you have been sowing your seeds. Uh, you have been partnering with the work of the Holy Ghost. Uh, somebody surprised me the other day. He said, man of God, you have been preaching to us. Uh, now we want Want you, he, he, he was sending me some money. He said, I've sent you some money, man of God. You take that money and just go somewhere in a hotel somewhere and just rest for a whole week. Hallelujah, glory. For just, for just refill yourself again for a whole week. Hallelujah. He sent me some good money. Hallelujah. I said, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, sir, somebody's thinking about me here. So I'm so proud of all of you who have been coming on in Jesus' name. I'm so proud of you who have been giving, who have been so even in difficult times of COVID-19, hallelujah, some of you are jobless, some of you lost your jobs, some of you are struggling to raise but you have been giving, hallelujah, you are large or small gift before the Holy Spirit. Thank you that the, I, want to, I want to tell you that now watch what the Holy Spirit will do in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Watch what the Holy Ghost is going to do. Some of you have been crazily sharing the broadcast. Hallelujah. There's the lady here, child of God. She's Hallelujah. She's just been calling them. She's been calling them and calling them and telling them, have you joined? Have you called the man of God? Have you joined? Have you begun hosting the Holy Ghost? And two of the friends, two, I mean, one of, a fr one of, the, one of her friends whom she introduced in the broadcast came in when, she, when he was down, struggling, lacking, suffering. And now he has a job. Hallelujah. God opened the door for him to get a job. She was telling me the other day, I want to say, child of God, any effort you do towards the Holy Ghost, any 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 sacrifice you make towards the Holy Ghost, it is not going in vain. It is not getting lost. Any finances, any giving, any prayer, any fasting, any sharing the broadcast. Some of them have been sharing on your messenger. Some have been sharing on your WhatsApp. After the broadcast is over, you just been sharing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in the name that's above all other names. And I want to tell you, child of God, now watch what the Holy Spirit will do to your life. The Holy Ghost says something to me, something, something to me sometimes back. He said that if you advertise me, my God, I'm going to make you a multi-billionaire. Somebody who's advertising the Holy Ghost, get ready to become a multi-billionaire in the mighty name of Get ready to be married. Get ready to go to the next level. Get ready to experience a supernatural turn around. Get ready for a financial lifting. Get ready to be totally healed in the name that's above all other names. My time is over. I want to pray with you, child of God. And so I was asking the Holy Spirit. I was saying now, Holy Spirit, we have obeyed you. We have now finished 90 days. Hallelujah. What's going to happen? Hallelujah. Glory. Because towards the, towards the, towards the 90 days, actually from day number 85, I began to receive people coming on, saying, 
saying, man of God, man of God, uh, we've been, we, 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 somebody, somebody, somebody just told us about their broadcast, um, and we have been coming on, and we are blessed, hallelujah, and they've been coming on, they are just fresh, hallelujah, they are not old in this broadcast, uh, like some of you, uh, they have just joined two days, three days, five days, six days, uh, and they are getting blessed, uh, they are getting built, hallelujah, glory and i was asking the holy spirit now what next hallelujah the 90 days has come what next hallelujah glory and the holy ghost said to me something child of god that why do we have to stop now hallelujah why do we have to stop now when when, when your life is gaining shape why do we have to stop now when people's love towards the holy ghost is coming alive why do we have to stop now hallelujah glory when the enemy is is now leaving people's houses. Why do we have to stop now when your helper that you've been hosting is now coming on, trying to rest in your life, trying to begin to rearrange things? Why do we have to stop now in the name that's above all other names when your sons and daughters are getting ready to be delivered completely from satanic oppression and witchcraft and drug addiction? The Holy Ghost said to me, Hallelujah. You know, I was just thinking to do. Um, I was thinking of maybe buying the idea of the other gentleman, hallelujah, and maybe going to the hotel and resting because it is not easy to come here every 10 p.m. East African time um, and speak and pray and, and, and pray with you. Um, it takes it takes dedication. Uh, it takes waiting upon God. Uh, you don't just show up here at 10 p.m. Uh, and open your mouth and begin to speak nothing. Hallelujah. Glory. You have to be ready. You have to be filled by the Holy Ghost. Uh, you have to be fasting and seeking the face it is draining uh, you have to be reading the word of god uh, after reading after praying uh, you have to be praying with people who are calling uh, people are sick people are troubled in their marriages uh, people are going through it is draining uh, it is tiresome hallelujah the the, the fastest option uh, that somebody will run to is to just uh, go and rest for another one week uh, or two weeks or three months hallelujah glory but the holy spirit said no 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 there's something happening uh, in the people's lives uh, their lives are gaining shape uh, in the name that's above all other names uh, things are real lining and things are coming back together in the name of Jesus. The witches and the wizards that are oppressing you have already begun departing. Hallelujah. They are already going. Hallelujah. They are already running away in the name that's above all other names. And the Holy Spirit said there's no room. There's no room for just sitting back and now sleeping and going back to a pity parties. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says that the scripture that the Holy Ghost gave me is said that one can chase a thousand, hallelujah, but two can put ten thousand to flight, hallelujah, glory. I want to tell you, child of God, in these 90 days, this was the first 90 days that we did, and I'm telling you, thousands of demons have, have left your families, your houses, your marriages, your businesses, your homes, but it is not over, hallelujah, it is not over, he said, Two can put 10,000 to flight. And the Spirit of God say to me that I need to, to, to announce to you, child of God, we are not stopping now. Get ready, child of God. The Holy Ghost spoke to me that we are moving into another 90 days, phase two. 90 days of hosting the Holy Ghost, phase two. To hallelujah glory 90 days of hosting the Holy Spirit phase 2 I'm gonna repeat it till the enemy hears it I say 90 days of hosting the Holy Ghost phase 2 we have just finished with phase 1 and now we are moving into another phase phase number 2 in this phase number 2 we're gonna chase tens of thousands of demons in the name my God Almighty, we're gonna chase tens of thousands of demons in the name of Jesus. If in phase one, if in phase one we dealt with the grandfather demons, now this phase two, we're gonna terminate even the grandchildren, we're gonna terminate even the fathers in of demons in the name that's above all other names. Somebody type 90 days of 90 days of hosting the Holy Spirit, phase two. 
two, phase two. In the name that's above all other names, one can chase a thousand, but two can put ten thousand to flight. And the Holy Ghost said to me, child of God, in this phase two, at 10 p.m. East African time, we are stopping everything for the Holy Spirit. We are stopping everything for the Holy Spirit. There are some of you who missed your opportunity in the first phase. Hallelujah. You missed your opportunity in the first phase. Maybe you're just the broadcaster and again disappearing for a while, uh, peeping in the broadcaster and disappearing for a while uh, and because of that child of God uh, you missed the breakthrough hallelujah glory, you missed the opportunity but in this phase number two, uh, the Holy Spirit told me to announce to everybody in the name that's above all other names uh, already people are receiving breakthroughs, uh, one of the ladies who joined two days ago uh, she had joined when she was at her lowest point. Uh, my God, things were hard for her. But after praying and we are and hosting the Holy Spirit, uh, she called and said, man of God, uh, the office where they chased me like a dog. Uh, they, this is what she, uh, her own words. Uh, she said, man of God, the officer uh, that chased me like a dog uh, in the year 2018 uh, has called me back to that same officer. Uh, child of God in this phase two, uh, get ready for restoration. Uh, get ready for restoration uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Get ready for restoration. And I know that in 90 days, these 90 days that have elapsed, I know that in these 90 days that have elapsed, there are some who have been believing God for restorations, for breakthroughs, for miracles, for all kinds of blessings. And the Holy Ghost tell me to tell you that when God is restoring your life, He doesn't just restore you mischievously. He does not just restore you uh, mediocrity-wise. He does it in a bigger way. He does it in a powerful way. He does it in an awesome way. In the name that's above all other names. And that is what is going to happen on these 90 days of hosting the Holy Ghost. Phase number two. In the name that's above all other names. So the Holy Ghost told me to tell you. that to tell to, The Holy Ghost said to me. Tell the people to stop everything. At 10 p.m. is actually I was just writing it down. When you were speaking it was so clear. In my voice I was just writing it down. He said, tell my people to stop everything for me at 10 p.m. East African time. Hallelujah, glory. To stop everything for the Holy Spirit. To stop everything for the Holy Spirit. You see, for so long, for many years, child of God, for many years, you have given everything your attention. You have given your job your attention. You have given your business your attention. You have given your own beauty your attention. You have given everything your attention uh, minus the Holy Ghost uh, and what have you received? Uh, maybe nothing. Uh, maybe just small. Uh, maybe just little. But in these 90 days, uh, phase two uh, of hosting the Holy Ghost uh, as you stop everything uh, at 10 p.m. East African time. Uh, for some of you who are abroad, uh, the time is the same. It's the same for you. Hallelujah. 10 p.m. East African time. Uh, your time may be afternoon. Uh, your time may be evening. Uh, your time may be morning. It is the same for you. Together we are stopping everything. We are stopping everything for the Holy Ghost and we are hosting him in our lives. In the name that's above all other names. Child of God getting the Holy Ghost is the real deal. Jesus told the disciples that I will not leave you as orphans but I'm going to send you a helper. But he told them you need to go and wait my God. You need to go and wait in Jerusalem. Wait till you receive the promise. Wait till you receive the promise. And there were 120 of them in the upper room. They were 120 of them in the upper room. I don't know how big that house was or how, that small, how small that house was, but 120 people in one house. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and they were all in one accord in the day of 
Pentecost. They were all, nobody was a absent. Nobody had, had, had stepped out. Hallelujah. Nobody was missing in action. Nobody was an, nobody was absent. They were all together in one accord. And the Bible says suddenly, like a rushing of a mighty wind, the Holy Ghost came on them. Hallelujah. In the name that's above all other names, I declare to somebody and at the sound of my voice, in this 90 days phase 2, there will be a Holy Ghost rushing. Who am I preaching to in this place? There will be a Holy Ghost rushing in your marriage. A Holy Ghost rushing in your business. A Holy Ghost rushing in your life. A Holy Ghost rushing in the name that's above all other names. Get ready for a Holy Ghost rushing in the name that's above all other names. I'm telling you, child of God, any demon that's been remaining after we cast it out in phase one, in phase two, we are going to slaughter it in the name that's above all other names. I'm telling you, child of God, and in this phase two, my God Almighty, I'm telling the Holy Ghost, say that, that some of you, your Christmas will be different in the name that's above all other names. Some of you, your Christmas will be different in the name that's above all other names. I say your Christmas will be different. Get ready to some of you celebrate your Christmas abroad in the name that's above all other names. Get ready to celebrate your Christmas with you in your own house in the name that's above all other names. Get ready to celebrate your Christmas having been married and having been fully restored in your marriage. Who am I preaching to in this place? I feel the fire of the Holy Ghost as I'm, as I'm speaking to somebody here. I declare that your Christmas will be different in the name that's above all other names. You are about to you are about to throw a big Christmas party and host the entire the entire neighborhood, including those that never thought that God can do a miracle in your life. In the name that's above all other names, I'm telling you, vehicles are being released. Are being released. Doors are opening up. If you're believing God for a visa, my God Almighty, I just declared that your Christmas will be different in this 90 days phase 2 as we are hosting the Holy Ghost. In this 90 days phase 2 as we are hosting the Holy Ghost, whatever the enemy had hindered, it will be released. Somebody share the broadcast, share the broadcast. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. My God Almighty, that devil is a liar. That devil is a liar. If you can just stop everything at 10 p.m. East African time and date the Holy Spirit. Your life will never be the same again. If you can just stop everything at 10 p.m. East African time every day and come and host the Holy Ghost and date the Holy Ghost, your marriage will never be the same again. Some of those difficult situations are about to become a thing of the past. In the name that's above all other names, right now you are struggling, but you're about to be to turn around into another man. My God, time will not allow me to talk to somebody here. You are turning around into another man. In the name that's above all other names, your beauty will increase. Your glory will increase. My God Almighty, the of God will be upon your life. I'm telling you, your family is about to come to you when they are sick. You lay your hands on them and they will recover. Who am I preaching to? in this place, in the name that's above all other names, at your workplace, my sister, your boss is about to, is about to come to you and say, my bra, my sister, my, my, my sister, I know, I know you are praying, you're a prayerful woman, pray for me, in the name that's above all other names, doors are gonna open for you without knocking them, gates are gonna open, in the name that's above all other names, those that used to mistreat you, child of God, will talk to you with respect, with those, 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 those that have devalued you uh, will value you uh, in this 90 days of, of hosting the Holy Ghost. Uh, phase number two, uh, I am telling you, child of God, uh, something is about to break loose uh, in the name that's above all other names. Uh, your sickness days are coming to an end. Uh, your poverty days are over. You are about to become a landowner. My God Almighty, uh, you are about to become a landlady. 
lady, a landlord, in the name that's above all other names. You are about to own. My God, I feel the anointing in this phase two of hosting the Holy Ghost. I see people becoming very rich. I see people becoming very wealthy. Some of you giving was a, was a difficult was a difficult task. Hallelujah. Giving an offering to God was so difficult. Why? Because you didn't have it. Hallelujah been struggling to pay your bills, hallelujah, but on this phase two, child of God, money is being loosed, doors are opening in the name that's above all other names, I said doors are opening in the name that's above all other names, I said doors are opening for somebody in the name that's above all other names, in first Samuel, in first Samuel, let me end with this scripture, my God, I feel the anointing, in first Samuel, chapter number eight, there is chapter number nine, in first Samuel, Samuel chapter number nine from verses number from verses number seven hallelujah there is a story there child of God I may not go into details but Saul has just lost his father's donkeys Saul has just lost his father's donkeys he doesn't know what to do number one why was Saul taking care of his father's donkey taking care of sheep and donkeys and cattle in the Bible was considered the work of Samuel Advanced. The least people were the ones who are doing that task, hallelujah, of taking care of the sheep and the sub of the sheep and the donkey. So Saul was taking care of his father's sheep. Why? I believe that he was struggling in life and he must have told the daddy, give me that job. I want to do that job so that I can be able to get some money to even take care of my family. He was the least one, my God Almighty. And something happened to brother Saul while he's taking care of his father's job and earning his salary maybe after every week after every month something happened mysteriously those very donkeys got lost in the name of Jesus, Saul, my God, felt like the earth should just open and swallow him. What was he going to tell his father? I want to believe that brother Kish, the daddy of Saul, must have been a no-nonsense daddy. He must have been so tough. No wonder Saul had to go looking for those donkeys. Actually, in 1 Samuel, chapter number 9, verse 4, the Bible said, and he passed through Mount Ephraim, and he passed through the land of Shalisha, but they found them not. Then they passed through the land of Shalim, and they were not. And they passed through the land of Benjamin, but they were not. Look at the lands. Look at the lands that this man is moving around far places, looking for his father's donkey. He must be. He must have been struggling. He knew that if I don't find those donkeys, my father is gonna terminate my life. He's not gonna give me money. He's gonna lay me off. He's gonna do what kind of things to me. Huh? How am I going to take care of my family? He was a worried man. He was looking everywhere. And in verse number 6, uh, the Bible, verse 5, uh, and when they were come to the land of Zufa, Saul said to his servant uh, that was with him, uh, come uh, and let us return. Uh, lest my father leave caring for the asses uh, and take thought of me. Verse 6, uh, and he said unto him, uh, behold now there is in this city a man of God uh, and is an honorable man. All that he saith comes Shall to pass. Now let us go thither. Peradventure he can show us our way that we should go. Verse number seven, the last scripture. Then Saul say, then said Saul to his servant, But behold, if we go, what shall we bring the man? For the bread is spent in our vessels, and there is not a present to bring to the man of God. What have we? And the servant answered Saul and say again and said, Behold. I have here a hand, I have here I have here at hand the fourth part of a shekel of silver. Saul is in a desperate situation. My God Almighty, he has lost his father's donkeys and has been looking for them everywhere not to find them. And the Bible says it is later. He tells the servant, please let us go. My father will now stop looking for the asses and be worried of me, of us. Let us go. And the servant tells Saul that behold, there's a man of God around 
around here who is honorable who can tell us and who can tell us what is happening where are the donkeys and now Saul has another trouble he has another problem hallelujah he doesn't have an offering to present to the man of God I'm telling you the man was so down the man was so poor the man was struggling the man was suffering they didn't even have an offering to give hallelujah when the servant told him that there is a man of God here let us go and inquire from this man of God Saul warrior was now where how are you gonna do that I don't have an offering of God the Bible said it was the suffering hallelujah glory the man was broke, busted, and disgusted. No offering at all. That the servant had to give him an offering. But child of God, after meeting the man of God, time will not allow me, child of God, the man of God, that the Holy Ghost shall rush upon you and will be transformed into another man. And after the Holy Ghost rushed in him, the man who was previously begging for an offering now was the king of Israel. I don't know. I don't know what your family is going through. I don't know how sick you have been. I don't know how your marriage has been. Maybe you have lost in this COVID-19. You have lost resources. You have lost finances. You have lost your marriage. You have lost your business. You have lost everything. You don't know what to do. You are pulling up in a place that you don't want to put up. You are staying with people that you don't want to stay with. You stay in places that you're not happy about. I have come to tell you, child. Mako sata la bakododo bosika talabado shakata Joraba sata la bakododo brosikata the devil is a liar the enemy knows something is happening hallelujah the enemy knows that this is your season somebody type and say devil you're a liar in the mighty name of Jesus Satan you're a liar in the mighty name of Jesus he knows that this is your season I want to tell you child of God be consistent in this first tour of hosting the Holy Spirit at 10 p.m. East African time decide to stop everything for the Holy Holy Spirit, decide to stop everything. Holy Spirit, some of the things you've been doing and up and about, they have not but hosting the Holy Ghost every 10 p.m. East African time for the next 90 days. My God Almighty, what was supposed to take 20 years to happen in your life, it will take place in these 90 days. In the name that's above all other names, I see breakthroughs changing hands. I happening. I see healings taking place. If you are sick in your body, put your hands where you are sick. On this 90th day, my God Almighty, I compound all the grace. I compound the power of the Holy Spirit. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90, and I release it upon your life. Put your hands where you are sick. I rebuke that sickness. My God, Almighty, I rebuke that attack. I rebuke that tumor at your at, at your at your waist. In the name of Jesus. I decree in the name of Jesus, uh, you are free from all kinds of bondage. Uh, you are free from bondage. Uh, you are free from frustrations. Uh, I rebuke paralysis. Uh, I My God, I rebuke, I rebuke, I rebuke. The devil is a liar. You are winning. Uh, somebody tell I speak life, I speak healing, I speak protection, I speak preservation, I speak miracles to happen to your life in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, glory. 90 days of hosting the Holy Spirit. Phase number two. Hallelujah. The flyer is coming out shortly. The flyer is coming out or the poster is coming out. When you see the poster, share it with all your friends. Share it with all your friends. Go there and like and love and also put a comment and say in this phase two of 90 days, my miracle will be released. Hallelujah. 
when you see a poster, when you see a statement in this page, in this page, some of the statements that I'm putting up, they are coming up after prayer, after prayer, after prayer. That's why I put them up. I put them up in the wee hour of the night. When you wake up in the morning, you find them because they are coming after prayer. I don't just write things. Hallelujah. It is the Holy Ghost that put them. When you see them there, don't just like them. Hallelujah. Put a comment and say, I receive in the name of Jesus. So the coming there, hallelujah. On, on your on the Facebook page, share it with everybody. Share on your messenger. Let everybody know that 90 days of hosting the Holy Spirit uh, phase two is beginning tomorrow, 10 p.m. East African time. Child of God, uh, we are not giving the devil a breathing space. Uh, we want to suffocate the devil's nostrils uh, by loving the Holy Spirit. Uh, every 10 p.m. East African time, uh, we will be suffocating the devil's nostrils by calling upon the fire of the Holy Ghost, by loving the Holy Spirit until all your blessing will be released. My God, get ready to turn, my God Almighty. The Holy Ghost is rushing in you and is transforming you into another woman, another man. It means the people that did, that knew you before will not be able to recognize you in the name of Jesus. The brothers of Joseph, after selling Joseph, they expected to meet a man who has beard all over, hair and kept and not shaved, dirty and begging, but Joseph had been hosting the Holy Spirit that when his brothers met him, child of God he was shaved, he was groomed, he was clean he was, no, no pimple was on his face, and he was talking through an interpreter I declare to somebody, get ready in this 90 days of hosting the Holy Ghost Fest 2, it is your season to testify in Jesus' name. The burdens is being lifted off your shoulders. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, glory. Tonight, I want everybody to get a thanksgiving offering. Thanking God for the 90 days. Just thank God. Get a seed. Get an offering. In the name of Jesus. And just thank God for everything that he has done. And everything that is about to do. Thank him for the revelation of the Holy Spirit. Thank him for revealing the Holy Spirit to you. Your helper. In the name of Jesus. Somebody put up the numbers there. In Jesus' mighty name. Put up the numbers there. Everybody get a seed in Jesus' name. The Holy Spirit is speaking to you what to give. Just obey and sow. And watch the Holy Ghost. In this 90 days, first one, as we are ending, to move to first two, you are moving with your breakthrough. You are moving with your testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name. There are some of you who are, who, are, who, are believe, who are believing God to give a seed of atonement. Hallelujah. Yesterday's seed also can be able to give it in the name of Jesus. There are some who can believe God and give a seed of thanksgiving today. Hallelujah. Just go ahead and give according to what the Holy Spirit has put in your heart. Believe God. This is your season in Jesus' name. The numbers are on your screen. Plus 254-727-476-712. Those abroad, you can also participate. Distance is not a barrier. Don't let the enemy, hallelujah, don't let the enemy tell you you're far away and it's not for you. It is for you. The blessing is for you. The miracle is for you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, glory. The victory is for you in Jesus' name. Go ahead and give according to how the Holy Spirit name. Hallelujah, glory. Large or small gift, my God, is going to release a blessing in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. So the numbers are there. Plus 254-727-476-712. God bless you, Rose, for putting up the till number. Those of those in Kenya, you can use that till number. Hallelujah. You can use that till number. That is M-Pesa till number 541963. For those in Kenya, you can use that M-Pesa till number Without charges, 5419163. And just send in your offerings in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, glory. Just send in your seed. Just send in your seed in Jesus' mighty name. Let me have the first who can be able to do that so that I'm able to pray with you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, glory. Hallelujah, glory. For those abroad, hallelujah, you can use wave transfer, send wave, Western Union, or MoneyGram in Jesus' name. Somebody put up also PayPal, PayPal. Eden Worldwide Ministries at gmail.com. Eden Worldwide Ministries at gmail.com. Eden Worldwide Ministries at gmail.com. You can give through PayPal in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, glory. Whatever the Holy Ghost is putting in your heart, 
in Jesus' mighty name. Maybe you want to become a blessing to me. You're saying, man of God, I want to bless you. Hallelujah. You want to send me a love offering. Also, you can do the same in Jesus' name. Just obey the Holy Ghost. Just uh, hear what he's telling you in Jesus' name and obey him in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I, I declare a blessing over everybody giving their tithe, their seeds, their offering. Father, in the name of Jesus, on this day of the 90 days of glory, your children have been seeking you, hosting you, loving you. Oh God Almighty, now compound every blessing from day one of the 90 days of hosting you in first one and release it upon them as they are moving to first two in Jesus' mighty name. I proclaim favor. I proclaim miracles in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, glory. Go ahead and give in Jesus' mighty name. Go ahead and give your offering in Jesus' mighty name. The first person has already sent their offering. I want to pray for that person in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. Let me see who is it. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory. Go ahead. Those of till numbers can give through till numbers. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory. And Gladys, your offering has arrived in Jesus' name. God bless you so much. Father, I speak a blessing over Ann Gladys in Jesus' name. I speak a blessing, a financial blessing. I decree in less than 12 hours from now, Ann, receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Somebody else can also send your offering through that till number there, 5419163 in Jesus' name mighty name under this anointing i want to pray for you in jesus name child of god i speak a blessing after this broadcast go everywhere and tell everybody 90 days 90 days of hosting the holy ghost first two in the name of jesus 90 days of hosting the holy spirit first two in jesus name let me just pray for you in jesus name you can continue giving hallelujah somebody else is giving in jesus name yeah, people are giving. Continue giving in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, glory. Father, I speak a blessing. Our time is over. I speak a blessing upon everybody, Lord. I release their miracles. I release their favor. I unlock their finances. I unlock the opportunities. Surprise them between now in less than 12 hours. Between now and 5 p.m. East African time tomorrow. Surprise your children as they are responding with their gift of tithe and offering and sowing seeds. Holy Spirit, the living God, do new things, do great things in their lives. Heal the sick, deliver the bound, cast out devils in Jesus' mighty name. I speak a blessing over you. Go and succeed. Go and prosper in Jesus' name. Go and shine. God bless you. Remember the poster, when, the, when you see the poster, the flyer, share it to everywhere. Share that on your, on your messenger. Let people know that we are in 90 days of hosting the Holy Spirit. First two in Jesus' name. God bless you. Shalom, shalom. Hallelujah, glory. Bye-bye in Jesus' name. For those with prayer requests, you can also send it to me on that number. Plus 254-727-476-712 in Jesus' name. God bless you. Let's meet again at uh, same time in Jesus' name. Shalom. Bye-bye.